We are definitely continuing the conversation because it's again women who are shining a light on chess and increasing the sport's popularity. Last year, it was a hit TV show about a woman tra uh, traversing the male-dominated arena. And today, it's two of South Africa's top women chess players, Rebecca Selkirk and Jessie February. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Now, of course, these good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> now, ladies, you've done such incredible stuff. You started an online streaming channel for the lovers of the game and newbies alive. And they've also, I believe, you've added some epic, epic banter, which I've seen. And you're also playing some popular games. But enough about me, guys. I think the fact that you're a PhD <laughs> economics student and Jesse, you are the current African women's chess champion, means that I don't need to be talking anymore. And I'm going to just leave it with you guys. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Doing really well. Thank you. Yeah, great. Thank you. Happy to be here. Oh, well, listen, this is amazing. And I mean, just if you've just tuned in, we are talking to a women's international master and a women's candidate master. Now, for those who don't know, I feel like you two, please just explain to us a little bit what these titles mean and how much work it took to get there. Yeah, so uh, the titles are actually achieved by playing competitive chess. So, of course, um, as as Grant mentioned, like climbing the rankings and so on. Uh, luckily, we were able to attain our titles by playing African events. There are different ways of achieving the title, of course. You can either um, keep compete and, and, and gain rating that way, or you could play in continental events or uh, national events and, and so on, just trying to obviously win the event or come top three. And that way we got our title. So women international master um, is one step away from grandmaster and grandmaster is actually the highest title you can achieve in chess. Um, I'm sure most of uh, the people, of course, like have watched Queen's Gambit and uh, yeah, Queen's Gambit is a very popular series and there we speak, they speak about grandmasters all the time. So that's definitely the goal, the end goal. I don't know if you want to add something there, Rebecca. <laughs> I think Jesse's covered it really, really nicely. That is basically what, what the titles are. So we're working our way up to getting, getting a Grandmaster title, hopefully in future. And the women in front of it, they are women's titles and they are, they are open titles, which men and women can obtain. So that's what the, the women before our titles means. Oh, awesome. So We're this is holding fingers for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, uh, I've got to say that I think what is happening right now is so cool. Obviously, you mentioned Queen's Gambit. It's just caused an absolute hype. And now two of South Africa's top, top players have come together to start a streaming channel, which is called Hashtag Chess. Now, did you guys start this channel with a goal in mind or mission? Or was it just like, let's link up and chat and see what happens? What was the game plan here? Yeah, so we had been thinking of the idea for quite a while. We'd been watching Twitch ourselves, seeing um, all of these people having an amazing time online playing chess. So we decided to start our channel together. We can't really, in terms of skill, compete with the, the top players. So we decided that we were going to try and make it fun, make it entertaining. We're trying to show people that chess isn't what they often think it is, just old people sitting for hours and hours in a room, uh, moving pieces on a chessboard. It can be a lot of fun. We love the banter and we, we try to make it as entertaining as possible for even non-chess players. And we love it when people come to our stream and tell us that they they just can't stop watching and they don't know why. It's really just great for us to, to make chess more exciting <laughs> for people. Well, it's just nice because you're adding that personality to, to your channel and that's what's going to set you apart. Now, I know it's been a year since you started and you've already grown to almost 8,000 followers. It must be really affirming to see people, you know, catching on and people from all over the world, no less, really taking an interest in your, your channel. How's that been for you? It's been amazing. And as you mentioned, almost 8,000. We just crossed 8,000 last night oh. during one of our streams. Oh. Yeah, That's so we, we're very privileged. Yeah, we, we are very excited about that. And I mean, our community is constantly growing. Of course, we are focusing a lot on the, the growth of our South African audience. Um, but when we started streaming, of course, we had in mind that we wanted to grow um, South African chess and that sort of thing, bring people uh, towards chess and commercialize it in a way because a lot of the time you have sports like cricket and and soccer and rugby that are, are super commercialized you watch it on tv all the time and not so much for chess so we thought we'd, we'd show people how fun chess can be 
And with that, uh, we kind of grow in our audience worldwide, not just in South Africa. Of course, we want to focus on South African, on South African chess, but you know, it's, it's nice to see the ripple effect. Now, on top of this, I mean, I think it's so cool, and a lot of us are obviously watching some of these overlays and seeing the cool banter that you have and the dancing, and you've just brought this awesome element to, to chess, which, like you said, has this preconceived notion of just being an old person sport. So now, on top of this, which I think is incredible, Grant Hines will just add to credibility of this, but you've gained a Twitch partnership and have now become partners with an international chess network. So this is huge when you consider the space you're playing in. So where do you go from here? Like, what do we expect? for the rest of 2021 it seems like the momentum is with you and there's just anything can happen yeah i think we're focusing on just continu continuing to grow our channel we have been we've had some really great momentum heading into the, the start of the year we focusing on producing more original content as well not just on twitch but on other channels both educating uh, chess players especially beginners players because there are so many new players to the game at the moment and then also possibly giving some twitch advice to people because we knew absolutely nothing when we started last year and we've learned so much through uh, others helping us through making mistakes on our own so we thought we could help some some other south africans because we think there is so much potential in the south african streaming scene and we we could possibly Possibly help help out with that. You yeah, certainly Rebecca is well, an amazing author. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I was just going to say, you certainly will. And there's something about chess players that always think a few steps ahead. And I think this is wonderful mm. to see what you girls will be bringing or ladies will be bringing out in 2021. A big thank you, Rebecca and Jessie, for taking your time. That is South Africa's top women chess players making their mark online, mixing entertainment with education and becoming one of the fastest growing Twitch channels in the process. That's hashtag chess. Be sure to check them out.